cemeteries. Whenever I go to a big foreign city, I always try to visit, if I can, one of its big cemeteries. Uh, lots of reasons. Um, they're often not mentioned on the tourist maps. You look at the map and it says, oh, there's Parliament, there's so-and-so, so-and-so's house, he was terribly famous, and there's the fun fair, and there's little numbers to guide you to these, but they don't have a number in the cemetery. But you can often see on a map that it's a cemetery. It's quite often there's a symbol for a cemetery in it, so they're not difficult to find. Um, but you have to look out for them, and I would thoroughly recommend doing so because they're interesting for so many reasons. Uh, one, they're often the quietest place. Okay, this doesn't sound very quiet here in Istanbul, but believe me, this is about as quiet as it gets in Istanbul. Botanically and zoologically, they're often fascinating. Lots of wild flowers uh, and plants, native ones growing uh, unhindered. And quite often lots of introduced, specialist, unusual exotic plants brought in to make the place look um, special. Also, historically, they're often very interesting too. Uh, you notice, for instance, different languages and different fonts used on certain tombstones in certain periods, and you'll see that what people are trying to say with their tombs. Um, and a plane just about to go over the top, so I'm going to go to there. There are many cemeteries I could recommend. Uh, the one in Budapest, it's in Pest, uh, is fantastic. Uh, it's got huge family tombs of the aristocracy and you might think that in the communist era they would just have bulldozed all those away but no, they didn't. In fact the communists did quite the reverse. They built their own tombs in the same cemetery so to say we are the new elite and then you could see the tombs of the communists peter out throughout the early 80s and then a return to modern ways. That was historically quite interesting. Some of the tombs were magnificent too. Uh, if ever you find yourself in Athens, which is essentially a big heap of breeze blocks and smog, um, I would very thoroughly recommend you go to First Cemetery. It's the only place in Athens where the marble is clean and white and graffiti free and all the plants are well tended to and again some very pretty tombs, very photogenic. Take your camera to a cemetery. Um, one of my Possibly my most successful photograph from my website, Weeping Angel, I took in a cemetery in Jesmond. Copenhagen has a very nice cemetery, which I would describe as the hedgy. I was uh, in St. Petersburg and went to a fascinating cemetery. Oh, and another one in Vilnius, uh, very, very photogenic. I, I could talk for <laughs> rather a long time about, oh, if you're ever in London, you've got to see Highgate Cemetery. That's amazing uh, it, for so many reasons. Uh, incredible plants, incredible wildlife. Uh, huge tombs, it's also overgrown, it's like a lost city and here comes another plane. And they're not at all morbid. Yes, okay, there are lots of dead people here, but they won't disturb you, they're all dead. I think a lot of the associations people have with, oh, here comes another plane, with cemeteries as, as nasty places are quite modern, have been cooked up by uh, modern horror movies. Ignore those, they're just horror movies. I did once get locked in a cemetery which had a very high wall around it uh, with my friend Colin and he wasn't very pleased with me so uh, watch out for that, that potential hazard. If you're able to read the gravestones then that's a bonus and you'll often find a tragic or an interesting story on one uh, looking at the age of the people who died, the surnames and so forth you can often piece together something that happened to that particular family. In Vilnius it was interesting that there were certain older graves that were in Russian font and you say, oh, this area, they've all got Polish names, and this area, ah. Then you, sometimes you, you're in a place where, whether it's a Catholic or a Protestant cemetery, makes a very big difference, and you can have a look at the, uh, the two ways that things were done, and the, the ways that those graves have been treated since they were put in the earth. Sometimes some of this lot are all fabulously well kept, and this lot are all neglected and overgrown. Well, why might that be? Um, yes, cemeteries, thoroughly recommended. That's it, I've said it.